Okay, this video is going to be different from what you might be expecting from me in the sense that we're gonna be talking about some serious things here and not making stupid jokes. At least we will try. Whenever there's some sort of a fail of basically any kind involved, I find that usually the, the problem can be traced back a few steps. The, it usually starts much earlier than people realize. For example, let's say you get into a car accident, right? And you end up without legs. So you're, prob you're probably telling yourself, oh, if, if only I you know, was paying more attention to the road that second, you know, I'd be fine. But no, that's not where the problem came from. It's because you were drunk and you were drunk because you were trying to get laid and you were trying to get laid because you didn't have a girlfriend or something and you didn't have a girlfriend because you didn't have a job and you didn't have a job because you didn't do well enough in school you didn't do well enough in school because etc 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 so if you start to trace the sequence of events back it's probably going to start several generations before you were born, at least, if you think about it. But people, you know, they live in the moment, they make a mistake in this moment, and that's where they start to look for the... for what went wrong. But usually it's something else. So that's the problem with Gary here, is that he's trying to look take this narrow look at what's wrong with life and how it should be solved and I want to take a few steps back to get some perspective first. So to get a complete picture one of the questions that needs to be asked is why are people born in the first place? Gary mentioned that one reason such as a mother wanting unconditional love but there's, there's actually many possible reasons some people you know are just bored and they want pets and they make you know humans for pets human pets other people want to respect because they're failures and everybody tells them that they're worthless worthless garbage and they figure how can I get somebody to respect me well, they think, oh, if I have a child and I beat him over the head every day, he's gonna respect me. Yet other people want, you know, the social status or something, because there is a tremendous pressure in society to live a certain way. For example, you don't have a job, you're looked down upon. If you don't have children, you're looked down upon. So you know people want to be able to say at work that oh and my child is an honor student blah 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 etc then there's the practical consideration that you know what if you get old and have an accident and you like break your hip or something and then they drag you to a hospital Who who's gonna come visit you know in the hospital because you know, doctors don't give a fuck about you. All they want is to pump you up with pills and make a bunch of surgeries so they can get paid for those surgeries, rip off your insurance. Like, they will not even talk to you and discuss whether you need the surgery or not. They're like, okay, you need it. And they're, let's say you want to find out whether you actually need it or not. Well, how are you going to do that? You're all alone, you have no access to anything. You just get a doctor which tells you you need this surgery, and you don't really need it. People understand that, so they want to, be, to make sure that somebody can, you know, look, up, look out for them, so they have children, whatever, for that. So, and those are just the reasons on the side of the parent. And then there's a whole other set of reasons on the side of society and the government in general. For example, right now we have a, an economic crisis because retiring baby boomers 
and it's not so much the, a problem because there were too many people born after the war is the problem that after that the birth have dropped off so the reason we have a crisis now is because not enough children were born recently to make up for the aging population so that's another reason why like many governments like germany and russia will give huge amounts of money to people to have children so there can be like literally a, a million different reasons to have children but not one of those reasons ever has anything to do with the child itself it's always about how can we use this child for our purposes so it's either the parent wants to use the child for himself or the government wants to use the child for himself and sometimes it's even more complex than that sometimes it goes across generations so let's say there's parents and there's grandparents and they want to fuck with each other's heads and basically let's say grandparents want to make sure that their kids are taking care of them but the kids don't want to take care of their parents so they make the kids have grandchildren so that when the grandchildren are watching the way they're being treated now their kids have to behave you know because they're being watched otherwise they could just say no fuck you and not visit visit the grandma in the hospital but when their kids are watching they have to act nice to the grandma because the kids are watching well so there is it's like many many levels in which people trying to use each other and use their children but it it's never about what the children need or what they want nobody gives a fuck the other half is they have to tell us this because they have already given birth to us so they need to justify their behavior they need to cover their ass so even if they don't want even if they don't care whether you have children or not you know your parents still must tell you that you have to have children because if they say that you don't have to do it then why did they do it you know they have to tell you, they have to tell you whether they like it or not that you must have children that's that so then the next question becomes well why the fuck do children put up with this shit you know they're just they're abused in every way possible like they're, they're beaten they're raped they always get the shittiest food the parents always you know will eat take the healthy food for themselves and give children some kind of fucking corn flakes which are high fructose corn syrup artificial colors and preservatives and flavors and garbage that you know would kill anybody except the children are so healthy that you know they don't die but anybody else would eat that garbage they would die so the children always get the worst food the worst everything why do they put up with this shit well because when they're born their mind is completely blank and the parents and the government and the schools and teachers put the shit into the child's head that needs to be there to tolerate all of this so it's all this massive brainwashing operation that goes on for like 15 or 20 years after the child is born that allows the child to sort of withstand all this bullshit and as part of this operation you we get something that we call morality so what is morality well it's a tool for social control M meaning how do you get other people to do what you want them to do because people have conflicting interests so I mean if there's one cheeseburger and there are two people how are you gonna convince the other person to give you the cheeseburger so that's morality how do you trick the other person into acting against his own interests and in your interests so that shit originates from places like the church the government and the parents anybody who is in position to conduct the brainwashing operation to instill morality so obviously the, the each kind of morality is going to be different but it's always about the person who receives the morality being ripped off so it's like a club you're getting clubbed over the head with it 
So there's a the the receiving end which suffers and the giving end. So it's basically tyranny, but it, it's tyranny through mind control. So the government will tell you that you know you need the government and it's your duty to pay taxes, and if you don't pay taxes, you're bad. The church will say that oh you need to love Jesus and you need to give money to the church, and if you don't give money to the church, you're bad. And parents will tell you that you know you need to love your parents, and if you don't love your parents, you're bad. If you don't help your parents, don't look after your parents when you're old, you're bad. If you don't trust your parents, you know you should trust your parents, whatever. So it's all, it's all a rape essentially, mind rape. And among those obvious ones, you also get this more ambiguous one, not not ambiguous, but less obvious one where you're told that you have to help other people in general without specifying who just you know help your neighbor etc but if you really think about it it's exactly the same thing it's just that it it sounds more plausible but it stems from the same need to tell other people that they need to be acting in your interest and somehow justify it with some sort of bullshit. So that's morality. And now, since your, like I said, your your mind is blank when your your indoctrination begins, you accept all of this and you never question it and you say, okay, we have to help other people. And then you realize that you're not helping the person by giving him life so when you you your child is born you're not helping the child by by making him live because life is ultimately just suffering and death and nothing well there are other things but it's for the most part it's suffering and death so then you have a conflict between the morality that you have accepted and this childbirth thing and Gary, when he saw this conflict, he immediately decided that, well, therefore childbirth is wrong. But he never considered the possibility that maybe it was, it's the morality itself that's wrong. You know, if A conflicts with B, that doesn't mean that A is wrong. Maybe it's the B that's wrong. The conflict of A and B doesn't tell us which one is wrong, and that's what we have to ask. So, you have this whole mess of bullshit where everything you know is 100% lie and makes no sense. So, what Gary is doing is of all the lies, he's looking at just one. The one about birth. And saying, well, we're gonna work on this one, we're gonna fix this one. But, if you stop having children, that still leaves the bigger problem in place that the entire society is built out of lies and it's ba based on morality which is itself just a lie it's just a complex system of lies and uh, the whole institution it's not just institution of family but also church and state and everything is completely tyrannical bullshit institutions of lies and you're not addressing any of that you're just saying oh we're, we're gonna stop having children well, great, but that's not a logical place to start because that's not the beginning. The beginning is the lie, to me. Well, it's hard to say where the beginning is, but I think the lie is the beginning because if you, if you take out the birth, you still are left with the lies. But if you take out the lies, it would seem you would also take out the birth because the birth come from, comes from the lies. So as a mental experiment, what if we do take out the lies? What if we do reject all the indoctrination that we received as brainwashing, because that's what it is. It's nothing more than brainwashing. It's completely false. So if we reject morality completely, then we're faced with another problem that now we don't have to care whether our children suffer or not, because the only reason we care is because we were taught to care about things like that by the same liars 
who've indoctrinated us with all of the other lies. So, Gary, what you're doing is you're prioritizing one lie against another. And you're saying, this is a good lie and this is a bad lie. And I'm saying, no, all lies are bad. I'm not going to subscribe to any of them at all. And that leads me to where I am right now, meaning it just doesn't matter whether I have children or not. I don't need to have them because I know that the reasons for having them, well, not all of the reasons, but most of the reasons, I can see them for what they are, complete garbage. So I'm probably not going to have children, right? The only reason I would have children is, you know, so that they would look after me, you know, in a hospital or something. But then I would have to lie to them their entire life and never let them find out the truth, why, you know, they exist. And I'm frankly, I'm not sure I can do this. I'm, I mean, I'm not that good at lying that I would li could lie to the same person for, let's say, 20 or 30 years and not have them figure it out that I'm lying. So most likely I wouldn't have kids because there's no good reason for it. But at the same time, if I did, I wouldn't feel guilty because the only reason to feel guilty is if you accept the whole notion of morality in the first place. But I don't accept it because I know what it is. It's just a tool for mind control and I refuse to let anybody control my mind. I think for myself. 